Hey guys and welcome back to the Row Builder YouTube channel. Today I'm starting a brand new series called Fixing Subscriber Builds or Fixing Fan Builds. Either way, and we have our first submission from Twitter. Now, I just opened up the file. I have not went through the game yet. I don't know exactly how all the map looks, but we're going to check it out right now. So, uh, I don't really know. Okay, it's way up here. Let me just <laughs> let me just scroll up to it and see what is this floating thing in the sky real quick. Real quick before we get too far in, let me see what this is uh oh wait let me <laughs> what is this guy furnace preview okay uh so i don't know exactly how their game works and all of that so i want to try my best not to delete anything important and sad to see the first <laughs> the first map revamp i i am challenging myself with this real terrain uh if you guys don't know i am horrible with real terrain so this will literally be a challenge but Today, I'm gonna revamp this uh, this little game. Was this Brezza? Okay, I don't, I don't. All right, the, I'm guessing a lot of this is free modeled, and I will ask him uh, what all I'm allowed to change, what needs to stay, uh, all that kind of stuff. But for future reference, if you're going to send me your game to uh, enter into one of these for me to rebrand your map and make it look better. Once again, that's my opinion. It might not look better to you, but in my artistic freedom, whatever you want to call it. Uh, don't send me your UI, okay? And don't send me any scripts. So if there's any scripts in your game, go ahead and keep those to yourself. You don't want everyone else having, like, your stuff, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and send this back to him as just the build. Yeah, so this looks like a shop of some sort. And maybe these are where your camera- yeah, camera C-frames. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And this looks to be some sort of mining game. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is ask him if it needs to stay terrain. Uh, I, I just- and if it does, I'm gonna have to rebuild the, the terrain, I think. Here's the region, alright? So I'm gonna move this over because I know that is the size of their mining area. And uh, I'll keep this here and just- actually, yeah, let me keep that right there and duplicate it put it over here I'm gonna build the new map to the side of this one. Oh my gosh to the side of this one it will keep the original and have the new one right next to it and I will let him go ahead and delete or take whatever he wants from this one so it looks like first things what we need are some trees these are definitely a free model pine tree so we'll make our own for sure uh, some fences all right oh gosh I always do this <laughs> some fences we got a little hut over here is there any playability to this or is it just all right, it looks like just decoration, so that is uh, up for negotiation if we add that or not. We have, what did we got here? Today's top miner. Okay, so some sort of a top miner sign, a leaderboard. And then these are shops. Uh, I'll have to ask uh, how many shops he needs. Uh, it appears there needs to be a trading platform. And I'm guessing, not sure. Oh, this is the teleporter. Okay, so, and some sort of teleporters. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I think first things first, we'll kind of rough out the map itself, and then we'll start on the props. All right, guys, so to start out, I have this. It is not perfectly square because this side will have the shop and all the features a player will use. This side is more so for just decoration. Now, I did say I'm gonna make this terrain to try to stick as close to how they would like it as possible, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use literally my favorite to second favorite plugin called Part to Terrain to do this, but first I wanna make these a little bit thicker. Now, the easiest way to do this would be opening up a plugin called Building Tools by F3X, and you can select every part that you wanna resize at once, go to Scale, and I could just drag this down a little bit and it'll bring all of them evenly. Now, of course, this is just the ground and it's, I mean, that's probably their stock terrain. But I'll make it about this thick just to make sure, maybe a little bit more, just to make sure they don't run into any issues like clipping when they go through the first couple mines. And the rest, they will have to script like, you know, however that works. Like bedrock on the sides that you can't mine or something like that. But scripting is not my job, <laughs> so I'm gonna just stick to remodeling this map and making it look so much better in my opinion. Let's go to part to terrain, grass, perfect, 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 and perfect. Now, we're starting off with a very even plane, okay? There's not a bunch of bumps and squiggles. And by the way, uh, I want to say this real quick. When I make these videos, I am by no means trying to trash on other people's abilities or talents. Like, if I get sent a map, I am not trying to trash on it. I'm not trying to make people feel bad or anything like that. I'm just saying, 
like my own thing, okay? Like, I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings, but this is a very bumpy terrain right here, and we will, of course, add bumps and everything like that, but a bit more uniform. So, <laughs> now that I got that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead. Now, I'll keep this pretty much how it is. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it kind of like this and like this. Please, guys, keep in mind, I'm horrible with terrain uh and this is a very big challenge for me as well so i'm just going for it snap to grid and plane lock guys water is horrible in roblox <laughs> like if you don't have these on it gets a bit tough all right like water can be looking very rough to say the least I mean, we could probably have this go into the into there a little bit like that that looks good and um maybe maybe come like all the way out to here so something like this i think would be all right we don't want to do the whole thing. Oh, that cutoff looks weird. I'll figure this out, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so to make this make more sense to me, at least, because I cannot get myself to envision how a beach matches up with the jungle, I think I'm going to just go a full-on jungle theme, and uh, I think we're just going to stick with that. So click this to add decoration. Perfect. And then we'll switch our paint to leafy grass. This will let us add paths and take off where the grass is. So I'm going to do something like this and kind of just carve out this whole little area. Leave a little bit, and we can always paint back over it with normal grass if that's what we think needs to be done. But now we have a path going up to the mining zone, looking pretty nice. And that weird little patch of grass, let me get that out of here, nice. Up next, we gotta go ahead and make trees. Uh, well, before we do that, I think we're gonna go ahead and change some material colors. Starting with the grass, I'm gonna boost this to like a more green color. Something like this, I think looks pretty good. And then with the leafy grass, we're gonna maybe darken that more for like dirt kind of a color. That's kind of reddish. Uh, we're not really looking for that. All right, so it appears like there's gonna be like some red-ish. I mean, kind of looks like it could be leaves, like the fall leaves or something. <laughs> for now, I'm gonna go ahead and add this. I'm gonna kind of just draw something in. Uh, I don't wanna go with straight lines and squares and everything like that simply don't think it looks as good as a little bit of uh unsymmetrical shapes i don't know every time i see a symmetric build it's kind of eh, you know not exactly my style let me go ahead and grab a player so we can see the size comparison to the mountains and the players for this i just use rig builder r6 block rig this is my favorite guy to kind of spawn in so i think the mountains are definitely big enough for this being the player we're gonna go ahead and sketch those out all right guys the primary mountains are sketched out i don't know exactly how to make these look great i'm gonna learn a lot in this video for sure right along with you guys so let me go ahead and uh now color the top of these with grass and make sure we switch back to paint as well if we were to grow grass it would probably look kind of weird all right so i think that looks quite a bit better now we're going to be adding some more variation even i'm going to go ahead and put some leafy grass kind of like around the tops a little bit maybe like a spot right here we could put something definitely a spot up here we could put something and maybe now nah, we're going to leave this side clear we'll put something right here more of a strip I don't know. I'm just kind of, like I said, this is my first time working with Roblox Terrain. So I'm trying to give it my all. And then right here seems like a good spot for something. And I think over here will be okay. I am going to grab this slate paintbrush and see how that looks. I'm not sure yet how it will, but kind of paint in a little bit like that. Uh, and maybe add some of this around, like just random. All right, so I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it, but I will change the color and maybe it'll look a little bit better. I just know the more variation, at least in my eyes, the better. It says slate is kind of a green color right now. It does not look like a green color, but we could definitely do that. I could make it look really out there. I think I'm gonna have it something kind of like this, guys. Pretty dark, blends in pretty well, but you could definitely tell it's a little different. The other thing that's bothering me is you could clearly see the edges painted on, like... I guess it's not too, too bad, but I kind of want to figure out how to smooth this out a little bit. Now, there is a tool called Smooth right here, uh, and I'm not exactly sure how it works, so we're going to try that. Um, yeah, I mean, that looks cool. I guess we could do that in some spots and leave other spots pretty bare. Really just trying to avoid hard edges, kind of like this smooth that out and i think another fun thing that we could do would be to add a path kind of around the little dig site so we're gonna go ahead and paint and add it just with this the leafy grass and i think we should make this a little bit smaller maybe two and then we're gonna grab our player to check like this width compared to a player width i'd say that looks pretty good all right i think that'll do up next what we're gonna do is go ahead and add in the trees 
And I do already have some trees modeled, so today we won't be modeling any new trees or anything like that in Blender. I'm gonna just reuse some old assets that I've previously made. All right, guys, the bushes are done, the trees are placed, everything is starting to come along and look pretty good. I just made sure to anchor everything, so that's all right. And I need to go ahead and see where the spawns are. Okay, so it looks like there aren't any spawn parts actually in the game. Let me go ahead and place one of those so we can see how this map looks while we're playing. I'll just place it right here. All right, so now that we're in the game, <laughs> ya boy, okay, it looks like it's an R6 game we have a hammer a lantern and a pick yeah so it's most definitely a mining game but check this out i think it looks pretty cool it does not seem that full yet but we still have a lot of props that we're gonna need to add and everything like that the trails seem to be a perfect width to go ahead and explore through the forest if you need to and i guess we probably should make another tree to uh to fit inside this game it would look probably a little more full and considering we're going for a forest vibe yeah, there's there's more than one type of tree in a forest. All right, guys. So what I just completed doing was taking all of these the assets from this map that mattered. This one will definitely matter as well. And I'm going to need to rebuild all of these. Now, the reason I took them off of this map was just so I can see them clearly. Of course, I cannot change some of this stuff too much because this is probably how they work in the game. Like, for example, this trading thing, it's going to have to, you know probably have two sides for each player to step on this window so i'm gonna probably just end up recoloring this and maybe adding on some parts to make it look a little better i don't know if the items go in here or if the player goes in here so i can't do too too much but i'm gonna give it my all and we'll start with the trading post all right guys we are back and i just finished the trading station uh i don't know exactly how it works so i'm not sure exactly what all i can change about it or do to it but here's what i got all right here's the first one how it used to look and here's the new one, all right? Basically, I made stuff match a lot better, made a top to these because I thought it looked pretty weird without one. I changed these to both wood planks as, I mean, I think you would find some wood <laughs> in the um, forest. This one's a little bit darker just to keep that variation thing going on. And this, uh, this actually the UI, I should probably change that as well because that color is pretty horrible um, for something like this. I don't know what color to make it. I don't want to make it red because, uh, you know, there's a red side and a blue side. So we kind of need a neutral color. We could definitely use a green type of color. That would work. And we'll keep it bright because they need to be able to see what it is. Also, another thing I would love to change is this little decal right here. Sadly, I don't think there's much I can do about it. It's just like... I, I don't even know how it's it's on this part. Uh, there's, there's no decal. I, I don't... I don't know how that works so <laughs> i don't know how that one exactly worked i would change this to blue on this side if i could but yeah it's not a decal i can change there's just a point light which i did change the color of because the original one was a bright red and it just really was red heavy over here so we went from this to this and don't worry the camera part is still here just turned it a little bit transparent so it wouldn't block the view now i can delete this thing and this i don't know exactly how all this works once again so i tried to keep every part that was that I deemed necessary. Up next, what are we gonna work on? We have this guy right here. Now, this is a teleporter, which I'm get like, I don't know, once again, do these buttons do anything? I'm not sure. So, let's modernize the teleporter. And once again, with the red light on a blue object, I don't know, dude. All right, guys, I just finished up the brand new teleporter. Basically, we started with this right here, and I changed it to this. Not too, too much was changed, except I put one of these on each side just to give it a little more balance. And the, of course, I slated out everything like this. I deleted these, these, there's no reason to connect them, I don't think. I made these slate, this a little bit darker. Um, and also slate of course and then I added four beams I'm not too too good with beams I actually got this one right here neon brick with beams by block pixel so I got that from the toolbox I am gonna lie to you guys all right <laughs> but I put it on and I think it looks pretty sick so we're gonna go ahead and drag this over to our map and figure out where we're gonna put it we have the trading station right there so I guess the teleporter could go over here something like that seems pretty cool I should probably paint over with some leafy grass kind of like in this general area and then maybe even behind it have a little bit of the normal grass just like this all right guys so i'm gonna keep it just like that like a little spot carved out for the teleporter i think it looks pretty cool a little bit more like that there we go so the teleporter is in the trading station is in what else do we have to work we have the main shop place which is like this goes inside the shop um 
yeah i don't know how this works i don't know where you upgrade or anything like that so i guess i'll just do this next and for this i really am not gonna change much i'll use the same sign there's not really anything too much wrong with it i'm gonna change these to wood instead of wood planks and then this is also going to be wood most likely we'll see how it looks yeah that looks pretty good and we're just gonna drag this down over by the digging spot right there is where it was in the original one so we're gonna leave it there and of course bring it down to the ground make sure it's looking nice perfect here's the map so far guys it's definitely getting there we have quite a bit to go still but i'm trying i don't exactly know if i'm gonna build a barrier around this normal fences in the middle of the woods i don't know yet so <laughs> we'll figure that out all right guys so what i did was just added like little rock barriers around the outside and for the shop i decided to cancel out this little building 100 percent uh for two reasons the first reason i don't really have an idea other than a log cabin type of aesthetic but it would catch on fire if there was a furnace inside of a log cabin so i just decided to kind of cancel out that entirely and go on over here to oh this is <laughs> this is the wrong map hold on go on over here and i just worked it into the wall um and then i added a little barrier around it ah uh, there's a little bit of grass overlap so let me go ahead and fix that real real quick boom perfect and there we go like that's pretty much all of the map can i get back here like can i uh oh gosh wrong one wow that goes up the side very well uh let me make this a little smaller there we go all right so i have all of the things that are needed done i'm gonna go ahead and put some of these mushrooms around the map as i do think that will help out quite a bit with just the fullness of it the aesthetic of it everything like that and if we have to i will make another tree as well all right guys we added these all around the map we could probably put some up here as well but i'll leave that up for him to decide in case there's more props or anything or he wants to get a secret passage it'd be really easy to edit this map and add in whatever you need to i think we are gonna have to put something around this because it simply doesn't look that good at the moment and i'm thinking maybe like tree trunks would maybe work <laughs> so we're gonna try that and see how it looks all right guys so <laughs> i did a little more than i thought i was gonna i added these little like vine type things just really weird foresty vibe type things and i do think the mushrooms are all like too bright of a color but i don't know exactly what i want them to be other than this yet so i think i'll just kind of keep it where it is and if he wants anything changed he can of course do that very very easily just by clicking on the part and changing it to whatever he likes and around this i did go with the uh the tree trunk type vibe for around there and uh now we're gonna spawn in and see how this looks when we're playing all right guys so you spawn in and you can look around and instantly see a bunch of stuff other than just simple pine trees i would like to spawn into the other map as well and show you guys how that looks uh but i kind of destroyed it a little bit but the teleporter over there this is a shop type thing, not exactly sure. And then this is a trading station of some sort as well. So there's that. And here's the map. I think that's going to wrap up today's video though. If you did enjoy and you're hyped for more of this series, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to have a good day as well. Later.